Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamad Youssef. Under the patronage of the National Security Advisor and Commander of the Royal Guard, His Highness Major General Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, a ceremony was held to present the award of honors of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to the Royal Guard team on accomplishing the historic mission by ascending to the summit of Mount Everest in Nepal. The Royal Guard Special Force Commander, Lieutenant Colonel His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, was present. His Highness Sheikh Nasser awarded the team members with Bahrain medals, third and fourth class, congratulating them on the historic achievement that was made by their great efforts, strength and determination that they showed in all stages of the task. His Highness affirmed that this honorable achievement would not have been achieved without the follow-up and directives of His Majesty the King and his constant care for the Bahrain Defense Force. هذا الوسام اللي امر سيدي جلاله الملك وسام تستحقونه انتم على مو بس هذه المهمه هذا عذر واحد ان احنا نميزكم و يكون لنا الشرف ان احنا نقدم هذا الوسام باسم سيدي جلاله الملك على جهودكم المبذوله في طول خدمتكم العسكريه خير من يمثل وحدتنا خير من يمثل ديرتنا في الداخل والخارج. يعني سيرتكم الذاتيه انتم بنيتوها بنفسكم. انتم دائما تذكرون شو اقول لكم؟ الحين بتذكرونه. دائما ما في اقول لكم يعني اسمكم انتم بتسطعونه في التاريخ غصبا عن التاريخ. تنحتون اسماءكم في سجل مملكه البحرين بالقوه. طبعا بافعالكم 
السمعة دي اللي انتم كسبتوها والصيت هذا اللي اعطيتونا اياه كلنا ان احنا نفتخر في جنود مثلكم البحرين كلها تفتخر ولكن الملك الله طول عمره يعني حرص علي ان يوصل لكم تحياته بكل تقدير واعتزازه وافتخاره باللي انتم انتم يمكن اللي سمعتوه منه كان شيء بسيط جدا لكن اللي انا اسمعه بشكل يومي عند ضيوفه وعند المسؤولين وعند ربعه يتكلم بهال 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 باللي انتم قمتوه بشكل تقريبا فهذا جميل بسيط نقدر احنا نرده للبلد وانتم عز الله انكم ما قصرتوا وان شاء الله من هذا الاعلى ولا اوصيكم تذكرون اول يوم قلت لكم قبل لا تسافرون الى قمه ايفرست اخر شيء قلت لكم اياه وانتم صاعدين للقمه في الفتره دي كلها 79 يوم اللي انتم قضيتوها لا تفكرون في القمه ولا تفكرون في الصعاب فكروا شو بتقولوا للناس لو رجعتوا البحرين فكروا في قصص النجاح فكروا في الهام الناس شنو هي معنى المغامره؟ شنو هي معنى روح الفريق الواحد؟ شنو هي معنى المواصله مهما كان الصعب الصعب امامك يبين لك انه مستحيل. هذه كلها جمعوها كافكار لان عندنا لكم برنامج طويل سواء اذا كان اعلامي ولا زيارات ولا محاضرات. نبي على الاقل كل واحد منكم يطلع لنا واحد مبدا تكون ان شاء الله بحرين. قواكم الله. Thank <laughs>The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, expressed pleasure with victorious endurance teams winning second place in Barca Dalva Standard Show held in Portugal. His Highness congratulated the UAE M7 stables on the occasion of rider Faris Ahmed Al Mansouri's winning first place and rider Rashid Saeed Malhouf's winning third place. His Highness affirmed that victorious teams winning second place proves its status in European participations, becoming a model and and making honorable achievements, which reflects the status of Bahraini endurance and its development. His Highness stated that Victoria's team's presence on the podium proves its development plan and making achievements in their international participations. He added that Victoria's team set an example in continuing to make achievements for Bahrain in sports participation. The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the General Sports Authority and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, held a remote meeting with Presidents of Sports Associations to discuss the Authority's strategy to develop the sports system. This meeting is the first meeting His Highness holds with the Presidents of Associations since he was appointed the President of the General Sports Authority. Attending the meeting were the Deputy President of the General Sports Authority and Head of the Bahrain Martial Arts Council, His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, and the Chief Executive Officer of the General Sports Authority, Dr. Abdurrahman Sadiq Askar. His Highness Sheikh Khalid welcomed the attendees and conveyed the greetings of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, hailing the efforts exerted by sports association in implementing activities and programs that develop the level of sports and athletes' performance. His Highness affirmed that in spite of the challenges of the coronavirus pandemic, the sports sector is able to overcome them through launching programs and initiatives that develop the sector. His Highness also discussed the strategy of the authority in developing the sports system and the plans that will be implemented in the upcoming period, which will help in achieving the strategic goals and contribute to in making further achievements. His Highness discussed a number of proposals in order to transform challenges to opportunities that will enhance the level of sports and the capabilities of the technical and administrative teams as well as players. His Highness then approved the formation of a financial administrative audit committee in sports federation and clubs headed by His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed Al Khalifa and Dr. Abdurrahman Askar with a membership of a monitoring department director and a legal consultant. 
The Prime Minister's Office has announced the opening of registration for the seventh batch of the Prime Minister's Fellowship Program starting yesterday until July 26, 2021. The Director General of the Office of the Prime Minister and Secretary General of the Cabinet, Hamad bin Faisal al-Malki, stressed that the development of the government cadres is a continuous process and the investments in the human element is the subject and care and attention of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad al Khalifa. He noted that national competencies contribute in enhancing the development march of the kingdom in various areas and help in achieving its plans and goals. He also said that the program attracts young Bahraini energies in the public sector with the aim of preparing them strategically to acquire knowledge and leadership skills through their assignment to the office for a full year and their work in the intensive training program by the most prominent experts in addition to their direct meetings with decision makers in the government. Government employees below managerial level can apply via the PMO's website. The ninth annual summit of the International Day for Small and Medium Enterprises, entitled Small and Medium Enterprises and Digital Transformation in the Light of the Coronavirus Pandemic, was launched in Bahrain today, organized by Bahrain Small and Medium Enterprises Association in cooperation with the World Federation of Small and Medium Enterprises, UNESMO, and the United Nations Office over a period of two days. To speak more about the event, we are joined over the phone by the United Nations Resident Coordinator and Chief of Mission of IOM in Bahrain, Mr. Mohammed Al Zarqani. Hello, Mr. Al Zarqani. Tell us about this summit and how it can further support SMEs in Bahrain. Hello, good evening. Uh, thank you very much for the kind invitation. Um, of course, you know this this event today was uh, was very important because when you look in the last ten years, Bahrain has fostered an innovation ecosystem that encourages the growth of the SME sector. You know, for example, the Bahrain Development Bank has offered extensive financing to SMEs and has developed some of the region's most progressive incubators. Um, you know, in, um, I mean, we, we, we always quote very good examples, very good regional examples uh, here coming from Bahrain, and Temkin is another fantastic example of that, which continues to encourage the creation of enterprises and provides support necessary to increase the productivity of the kingdom's uh, SMEs, uh, SME sector. Uh, you know, another a, a very, very uh, positive step that we really recognize as well is that in uh, 2017, when Bahrain launched the 100 million al fund that invests directly in SME development, these are all very key milestones. And nonetheless, another big milestone 2019 when the cabinet resolution on uh, on allocating 20% of government procurement and tenders to SMEs. So these are all very, very important milestones, very important steps forward. But we need to understand as well that today, perhaps more than ever, uh, the SME sector are in need of critical support. Uh, SMEs have been hardest hit by the COVID-19 pandemic, and the road to recovery will not be quick, nor will it be easy. And while there are already some encouraging early signs of recovery here in Bahrain, uh, recovery must be inclusive and must deliver sustainable development for all. You know, as His Majesty King Hamad bin Ait al Khalifa's economic vision 2030 lays out, you know, the economy and indeed the society more broadly must be based around three guiding principles. One is sustainability, two is fairness, and three is competitiveness. In the language of the UN and the, maybe the SDG 2030 agenda, we say we must make sure to leave no one behind. We must build back better. So this is a very important message to say that, you know, uh, today's event was very important because it recognizes the role of, uh, of the SME sector and uh, how important and key it is to the economy, to future uh, job opportunities, uh, and uh, how much uh, tailored support is needed during uh, this difficult period to recover post the pandemic. Thank you. The United Nations Resident Coordinator and Chief of Mission of IOM in Bahrain, Mr. Mohammed Al-Zarqani, thank you for joining us.
The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 1,050,788 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 968,525 had taken the second. The ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 4,420, with 689 recoveries, 302 registered new cases, and 6 deaths. 154 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 144 are contacts of active cases, and 4 are travel-related. The Ministry expresses its heartfelt condolences to the families of the deceased and urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.